Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back with Viking Conquest here, just outside Bedenba. Uh We've got a lot to do today. Um, we've got a lot to get done in <laughs> the short amount of time we have. Um, we are at war currently with Wessex, but that might go on for truce fairly soon. There is the Kingdom of Glissing here, who have come back from the dead, but they may not stay that way, because... They're going to be stuck between Cornwall and Wessex, who are two very strong factions at the moment down in the um, southern part of the map. Um, so that they're going to have to—they're going to really struggle there, I reckon. I am indeed back, and so are you, and so are some other people. Um, but yes, Grissing have re, re kind of got themselves out of the ashes like a phoenix down here but they're between Cornwall who are doing very well for themselves they're taking care diff and this Welsh town off Wessex recently and there's also Wessex although Wessex is looking a little bit maybe a little bit past its best I mean kind of Eng East Engels pushing in here Cornwall's taking their bits in Wales and they've got a resurgent faction here so who knows if if Clusin can hold on here then who knows, we could have an almighty scrap between Cornwall, between Wessex, and between the Welsh faction as well. We'll have to see. Uh, I'm just going to make sure we're actually streaming the right game. Give me one second. Yes, we are streaming the right game. Wonderful. <laughs> I thought for a second there I might still be playing, it might still say... I was playing Portal 2, which wouldn't be the end of the world, but also wouldn't be great. Um, let's turn up the music slightly. There we go. It's always a question of trying to find the right balance. Are there any active quests we need to do? We need to go see our love at Dunbeatty. So that's probably something we can do while we remember, because we haven't managed to get to half the quests recently, or half of her quests recently, so it wouldn't be the worst thing to do. But we do need to keep our money float and morale incoming as we do have such a large party now it, it is important that we do such a thing um when will you be able to marry her when uh, we i we have high enough relation and also when i have enough relation with her either her father or her brother or whoever i don't want to say controls her because that sounds awful but the truth is that whoever's kind of her guardian Needs to approve, or we could elope, but I don't think that's worth doing. Um, let's head to Dunbeatty though, and see what we can do. I tend to visit a lady, visit Asgard. In fact, I can ask her if she feels ready to do more stuff. Do you like poetry? We've done all the poetry we can. Um, do you think we might have a future together, my lady? Sir, it is comforting to hear that your intentions towards me are honourable, but perhaps we should take the time to get our to allow our affections for each other to grow a little bit stronger before making such a decision. I can try to persuade her, but if that goes wrong, it can go quite badly wrong, so let's... I don't think we'll try that at the moment. We'll pick up a few more troops, so we're going to go see if we can find some people to kill in Wessex. The trainer Edris has completed his task, wonderful. We did improve our armour last time as well, which was great. Um... We're just going to head over here towards the um, north of Longfall in case we can find some uh, nice group of Vikings to kill for some healthy profit. But there don't seem to be any round. I guess in the Kingdom of Alban has been pretty good at keeping on top of them. So we'll head down to Wessex if we can. Um, there's a new campaign, but it's only really going to be for um, attacking Wessex. So we're not going to be able to... We're not going to be taking land off Wessex because it's so far away. So we're just going to go down and kill them ourselves, I reckon. That's probably the better idea. Keep an eye out for any caravans we can go for along the way. It's always useful. Your, Mo your Moomain, your Northumbria. Definitely having trying to take, get a castle somewhere would be wonderful. You were you running for me? You were running for me because you're a Wessex trader. I demand all your 
gold, your valuables, pretty much everything you have, please put it in our coffers. Thank you very much indeed, sir. Okay, let's push to the hill. And as always, the caravan master kind of pushes ahead of time. Uh, so infantry here, spearmen here, archers and skirmishers on the hill. And we really have enough cavalry to actually do anything with, so we'll just kind of leave the cavalry to do what it wants. So infantry here, spearmen here. They don't tend to, they kind of often don't move in that quickly. I've noticed. Um, like They just don't like charging in. <laughs> Come here. Come here. I could get on the horse, but then I can't use my sword because it's a sword that you can't use on the horse. Which is helpful. There's a pretty decent size amount of troops here, so we, we need to not be too arrogant when we push forward, but we should be okay. Although the infantry move forward again, they have decided they don't want to take any orders today for reasons best known to themselves. There we go, deal with you two. I think we can probably charge now, we should be okay. We do often take some quite bad wounds from when we're fighting Wessex. Because um, they're pretty good with their spears. And sometimes we just get too arrogant and we push ahead. Which is never a good thing. And some of these guys can be pretty damn strong. You know, they're high, they're high tier troops. Do this stuff if we can. The problem is the spears have the ranger of us, so we just need to be a little bit careful. There we go. Dealt with you. And dealt with you. Wonderful. It should be the majority of them now. Now, once we've dealt with you, I think, yeah, that's everyone. Excellent. So morale, five renown. We will take all these prisoners as best we can because we will need the money. We will share the loot. Uh, we need to pick up, probably pick up some more food next time we head by a town. Let's say Jorvik because we're heading down south anyway. There's a feast in Dumbrety, but we've just been at Dumbrety, so I don't think we need to go there again straight away. It would feel like a bit of a waste of time. Uh, oh my goodness, that wine sells for a lot. Good grief. Nice. Uh, let's just pick up the bread, pick up any vegetables, and we'll pick up the dried meat as well. It is a little bit expensive, but it, it gives us good morale, and it gives us, more importantly, a variety of food. I think that's important. And there is also Ransom Broker in the meat hall, which is what we like to see. Wonderful. Okay, is that done? And let's go see if we can approach a weak Viking, a weak Wessex Lord. Well, last time we tried that, it didn't go very well. We still won, but it, we took some heavy, heavy losses doing so. So we need to be a little bit careful and kind of pick our moment correctly. Although if there's some trade, we will happily take all the trade. Because trade is good profit for us. Again, we there's only it seems to ever be two maps that you can fight on when you're fighting traders, but that's okay. Push up to here. Infantry and spearmen. Let's see if they actually obey their orders this time. I would garner, I guess, and say no, but we'll have to see. There we go. No problem, cucumbers. See you around, and hopefully I can see you again soon. Um, it's always nice to have you, bye. Um, and have a good day. Hmm. Again, the Spearmen really have decided they don't want to get involved. I just, I don't know why they don't, but they just don't for some reason. 
Okay, let's let's actually let's try to get involved when when they're in the water. That's probably not a bad idea. At least partially in the water. No, don't you dare run away. <laughs> no one gets to run away, you must all die for the glory of Lethland. I'm trying to think about what we want to name our own kingdom when we make our own kingdom. Because it's got to be like something based in like Old English or Old Norse or something. Um, but I guess it also, also kind of depends where we set up base because that will kind of affect what our place sounds like and what culture we have, etc. It was you. There we go. Who's still left? Just you? There we go. Wonderful. Honestly, the more trade we can take on, the better, because it really does pay for itself. Well, sort of pays for itself, I should say. Uh, show the loot... I mean, some of these helms are not bad. They're not, you know, excellent by any means, but they're they're not terrible. And we also do get food from them, which is also not a bad thing at all. Into Tomatum we go. We're not going to go after those ruffians there. It's probably not worth the time and effort of killing them. We will sell the beef just because that will rot fairly soon, so it's well worth getting rid of it while we still can. So the amber, which is going to sell for a pretty penny. Go to the weaponsmith and try to sell the rest. Again, not a huge amount of good things, but it's still a good amount of money and I, I can't complain really. I'm just going to quickly move this bread up and so it's all in formation. Or it's at least all a bit closer to the top of our inventory. So the food at the top and then all the gear we need to sell and buy at the bottom. I'm guessing there won't be a present broker here, that's not that's fine. I will keep pushing into Wessex, because actually if I could let good glue Gwis how do I say this name? Uh Glissing and Cornubia actually grow, that would be wonderful. Because it's nice to see some other factions which aren't kind of the standard factions who always win winning. You know, Gwyneth here and Wessex down here and Northumbria. It's nice to see some other factions kind of doing quite well for themselves. Uh, we'll save the Christian clergy, not that it really matters. Start the holding position. We've got a nice little hill to work with, so that's wonderful. Infantry and spearmen here. Archers, skirmishers on the hill. Cavalrymen on the side, please. Thank you very much. Things I don't think the I don't think the Christian clergy actually got involved in this battle, which is a little bit annoying, but that's okay. Because I think the bandits ran away when they saw us coming. And the spearmen are I think stuck behind the archers. But let's see if we can move them forward. Thankfully our Huskard is still alive because he cost a blooming ton to upgrade. And we definitely don't want to lose him. And he looks so cool as well. Maybe let's not break his shield though, that might not be a good idea. Let's see if we can do some long range sniping. With our oh headshot, wonderful. I'm trying to work out once this mod is done what mod I want to play next. I might do Pendor. I might do Prisno. Maybe the Sands of Jerusalem. Kind of doing like a more desert-based one. That'd be quite fun. Um, but you know, Pendor and Prisno are probably quite polished in comparison to some other mods. Or maybe I play a different game altogether, but. So I will probably be trying Hogwarts Legacy when it comes out. I don't know if I'll do a full series, but I would like to do a full series if it lives up to expectations, which of course is not a, a guarantee by any means. Have I thrown all my throwing weapons? I think I have. Well, let's try mow these guys down one way or another. There's a lot of them routing, but let's just... We might be able to catch up to them on the world map. That's probably the better idea. We get a good amount of renown, good amount of morale, so not bad at all. We can get a Norse noble. Wonderful. 
Let's upgrade what we can, although again, this is very costly to do. But I think it's worth it. Let's get the standard bear up. He looks cool as well with his bear skin. As, do the, as does the Norse noble. He's not a Huskar, but he's a Hersir. Wonderful. Share the loot. Not that exciting loot, but still loot that can be used for selling for, to some degree. Because really we want to just financially stabilise ourselves before we go independent. I think that's the plan, because we're just not getting land or territory otherwise, it seems. Went to Siren Sester to sell this stuff, because that way we're still heading in the right direction. Um, Asgard wants us to go see her. We will do, but not immediately. I think that's a bigger priority. We also are going to help this farmer in Kirinham East. I'm trying to work out whether that, where that is in modern-day Britain, but I'm not sure off the top of my head. It's clearly kind of somewhere around Siren's Est. Where is that? Is Siren's Est still a place? I'm trying to work out if that's kind of evolved into a different name over time. Um, anyway, let's go help them out. We'll get some positive relation with the village, which is not a bad thing at all. And that will help our reputation after we committed our, our, our war crime incidents of last time. You know, where we had to, like, kill a village to set up a business in Wales. We had to kill a, we had to like kill a village in Ireland to set up a business in Wales. It was just a, just a few war crimes. Uh, where are they coming in from? Are they coming inside the building or around the outside? Well, the trailer park goes go around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. M and M. Okay, everyone charge. Let's not do this weird fighting around the corner. Can I get out from here? Let's hope I can. Well, hey! Gentlemen, this is Democracy Manifest. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. And we will not take any um, rewards because it just improves their relation even more. Um, are you going to allow me to recruit from here? Oh, uh, we would actually have to bribe him. That's fine. We don't particularly need them from Sorry, to me. It's not an immediate priority for us. 232 troops. No, thank you. Let's get out of here. Head back to Siren Sister. I don't know if we checked for any prison brokers, but no, there are. There's none here. There might be one in kind of this area, but let's not worry about that for the time being. Um, let's not attack the the Aetherwolfing. That's a terrible idea. 400 troops. No, thank you, sir. Not today. If these Cornish guys go after this, after Elden Buck, I'd happily join in. Okay, they're going after this trader, but the trader didn't last very long. Come on, lads. I'm, I want to see if I can bait Adel, Elden Buck into fighting with these two Cornish guys. I don't know if it's going to be possible, but I'd like to try. Come on. I don't think that's going to be possible. So we'll leave Elden Buck for another day. There's a trader there, who we can go after, wonderful. I demand all your gold and valuables, I'm not joking, I am indeed robbing you. Not Robin Hood, but I am robbing you. To rob from the rich to give to the somewhat rich. Spearman here. Actually, um, we'll put the infantry and the swim in here. Our cavalry is going off on a tangent, so let's maybe not do that. Um, skirmishers and archers on the hill as always, please. We have a pretty impressive arch contingent, I would say. Possibly better than a lot of other lords. What we do need to work on is our front line. I think that's the most important thing we can work on now, is just more 
physical melee troops of high quality because these freeholders are fine but they're not going to stand up to a veteran or a huskal or a rekra I'm pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to say it but you know however but the problem is having an elite army costs a lot of money but we look damn snazzy as the commander with our I don't know sheepskin wolf skin bear skin whatever it is no one really bears in the British Isles. I mean, I'm sure there were at some point. Maybe they're imported furs from kind of Frisia or Norway or Denmark. Frisia, I think, being modern day, like modern day Netherlands or perhaps Germany or possibly even Belgium. Now, some, some, sometimes these spears can pack an absolute punch, especially because their range is incredibly high. Deal with you, because you look like you hurt. I think you're wearing the same outfit as me, actually. Who do we still need to attack with a throwing weapon? No one, because they're all dead. Excellent. Tabki to leave. Frisia is almost yeah, in one day Netherlands. I, I I thought it was somewhere around there, I just couldn't work out the specifics in my head. Especially as I wasn't looking at the map at the time. <laughs> oh, we have a second Haskell, wonderful. But they do cost fourteen hundred, my word. A bunch more warrior archers, but that costs a lot of money. We're going to have to sell this stuff pretty quickly to ensure we can pay our rent. Although we are now making a profit per week, which is nice. Not a huge amount, but we are making some profit. East Frit is part of Germany, so the northwest can use this handy compass that no one ever uses for anything. So yeah, here. Obviously Denmark is up to here. Here's, here's the Netherlands. Belgium's kind of here-ish. This empty space. Germany here, although of course at this point it's not Germany proper, it's kind of just a bunch of tribes. Um, and then France here, including Brittany, I'd say there or possibly here. Either way, s somewhere in those vicin <laughs> somewhere in those parts. Uh, where am I? I'm going to London, aren't I? London. To sell off all our profits, there is a competition here which we will will have a go. <laughs> Competi the kind of big competitions we don't always do too well in, to be honest. But we'll have to say uh, we'll take that barley back, however, because that's food that we don't need to buy, which would be nice. Uh, let's stay here. We do have a sword and shield, a sword and board, which I'm happy with. Okay, everyone can charge now actually. Otherwise we're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> we just need to get one kill in this opening round, there we go. Because I think if you, you need one kill in the opening round, then you need two in round two and three in round three and so forth. For the kind of tournament master to see you as being worthy enough to go through even if you didn't your team didn't end up winning. If you proved yourself of worth individually. Stop stabbing me in the abdomen with a spear, please. Thank you. Uh, 14 to 7 fighters, that's going to be an absolute mayhem. Let's everyone stay together, please. Let's fight as one at least somewhat cohesive unit. Charge. We've got red and blue here, which I'm not thrilled about. That guy wasn't even uh, trying to attack me, but he still managed to hurt. There we go. I'd like to pick up an axe or a sword or something. There we go. An axe will do. That will fairly concisely destroy someone's shield. I just like having something which I can chop with easily. I think that's the thing I'm trying to get at. Looks like we're doing okay there as a team anyway, which is wonderful. Red lay assume lay hewn, hewn on the battlefield? 
Sloan, Sloan. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Oh, this is not good. No, 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 no. Go away. Bugger off. Oh, I'm not going to have to deal with... Oh, yellow's here as well. Run, run, run. Get a sword or something. Short axe, that'll do. We're just going to be... Uh, oh, we're going to let the, all these guys fight. We're just, we are just going to be a coward in the corner. I don't think we can climb the ladder, but we're just going to be a coward in the corner and deal with the results. Let blue and yellow fight it out and we'll fight the fight the eventual victors of that, I think. Do you have a shield for me? A spare shield, thank you. Having a spare shield, I think, is just going to be useful. We'll drop the spear because we're not going to need it. How many? Two yellow people, okay. We should be okay, hopefully. The axe, the axe is pretty good at actually stabbing into people. But we don't have much range to work with, so we need to get in close so the spears aren't that useful. Two teams with one fighter. Shield sandwich. Absolutely. Mm, could do with the sandwich. Why don't... Speaking of shields, why have I not been given a shield? At least he hasn't been given a shield either, but he does have the range. We should have the speed, so we just keep on attacking that way. There we go. I was concerned. If he had a shield and we didn't have a shield, that would have been tough. Two teams of two fighters. Please give me a sword or an axe. Give me an axe. Wonderful. Who do we have with us? We have a veteran. Not bad. That's not good. We need to at least kill one of them to stand a chance. Hoo -hoo. My god, that was tough. <laughs> Okay, final round. We have a spear and shield. They have a... They're going to have an axe or a sword, aren't they? No, they've got a spear as well. Okay, we should be okay. As long as I play this as I normally do. We should be okay, I would hope. There we go. 4,000 pennies plus change earned. Well worth doing. We get a wreath of laurels on our head. I don't think that actually gives us any, like, bonus items. No. Because sometimes you do get, like, a bonus item or two. Easy. S sort of. I, 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 tend to, I tend to struggle with the big tournaments. I prefer the much smaller ones where it's just one-on-ones. Because then uh, at least I can't get overwhelmed. Happy Widow, I don't think we need at the moment. Farmer. Which village? Ludenham South. We can go help Ludenham South. That's not a problem. Uh, 39 band, 39 robbers, they're already kind of cooperative with us. So actually having a kind of recruiting base down here in London would not be a, near London would not be a bad thing at all. Oh, look at this body, look at the hostiles, they look so damn badass. Why is he running? Come back here. <laughs> you can't run, you're the most heavily armoured person on the entire battlefield. Okay. Let's get our throwing weapons out, see if we can do some damage from afar while we're still running in. Ooh, headshot, nice. Cease and desist. Cease. And... Desist. Okay, deal with you. I don't think they tend to route so much in these ones. Is that farmer trying to just fist that? Let's not say that. That sounds bad. Was that farmer just using his fists to try kill them? Let's not let's not go with our previous statement that got out of, got out of context pretty quickly. There we go, success. And again, we won't take any of the rewards. We'll just um, take the kind of positive relation we have with them. Would you allow me to recruit here? We would have to. Um, we'd have to kind of buy our way in. But that's okay. We don't need them at the moment. But in future, having a good recruiting base near London is not going to be the worst thing in the world. I mean, maybe we could try set up 
in East Anglia, but that's not going to be that simple. I mean, they're a pretty big faction. Whoa, hang on, that's new. They've taken Winchester. Wessex is collapsing. That's going to change the political landscape if Wessex collapsed. Is because you know Wessex is the big, kind of the big boy of this part of the world. That could be very interesting indeed. That could really change kind of the landscape of of the game, especially as all the lords will have to defect elsewhere to do something else. That's interesting. But it means we can actually go to with we can actually go to Winchester now, which is nice. Oh, 81 troops. I wouldn't mind. I don't want to take on 210, but I would happily take on 82. But we actually can't go into Winchester because we are not welcome in East Angle territory. Forgot about that. Um, we are making a profit, which is good. Wessex is collapsing, yeah. They've only got Canterbury and. Okay, no. I don't know if they're collapsing, but they. they... They had Care Diff and however you say this one, which I can't pronounce. And they've both have been taken over by the Kingdom of Cornubia, modern day Cornwall. Um, I think Eskincester used to belong to Cornwall, but Willem used to belong to Wessex, and that's now with the resurgent faction of the Glissing, risen from the ashes. And uh, East Engler have taken over Winchester. If they take over Canterbury as well, that could be interesting. I don't know if we technically will have sequestration with East Engle, because we're not technically at war with them, but they don't like us because we um, raided one of their monasteries where we were testing it out, so that <laughs> might have been a bad thing. Elderman Cuthled die. He is hated. We are going to do some commander's options. Can we skirmish? No, nothing from there. We could make a sacrifice to the gods. We should not fight today. We lose five morale. Great. Um, we're going to fight anyway. <laughs> I imagine we're going to have to go attack them. So actually, I'm going to give the cavalry to charge. Purely to try bait that person into attacking. Because I'd much rather they come to us. I don't know if they will. Because we, the, we, the, we are pretty much double their numbers. Even though last time that didn't always help us, so we need to be careful, but I'd still much rather they came to us as opposed to the other way around. Hmm. Uh, let's move the infantry here and the spearmen here. We have a lot of archers, my word. Which is great, but we, we definitely didn't work on the front line now. Kind of the, the actual infantry side of things. Infantry and spearmen. Because then they're not going to come to us unless they have to, that's for sure. You know, if I was the commander, I certainly would attempt to stay back as best I could. I don't know if they're going to come in now, though. They might be. I think they are. Wonderful. Okay, infantry and spin slightly further forward. And I'm happy to move the archers forward a couple of paces. Ah, oh, no, no, they're not charging. They were kind of moving forward. Okay, that's a little frustrating, but is also to be expected. You know, the lords are not tactical idiots. They know what they're doing. I don't know whose shield bash I can hear, if it's mine or theirs. Um, everyone, let's push up. I don't know where we're going to push up to specifically. Because they're right there. If we do like infantry here, spearmen here, archers here, that might work. I mean, it's not ideal. Okay, they are actually coming in. Interesting. It's, oh, they, they're kind of coming in. They're, they're doing a little bit of a skirmish, as we are as well. well we They probably have the superior skirmishes, but I would say we have the better archers. So we need to be careful. So infantry here. And our spearmen at the front as well. 
Basically, anything, anyone who has a shield to the front of the lines, please. Um, archers spread out just to give them some space to work with. So we need that. Um, we need the infantry up here quickly, otherwise we're going to have some issues. Archers keep spreading out. We need to get the infantry through quickly. Okay, let's just go. Um, it's not ideal how this turned out, but let's just go for it. You look important, let's deal with you. We've, we've killed their leader, that's important. That will knack their morale, they might start to rout sooner, which is important. We will lose quite a few troops here, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run. But they are starting, some of them are starting to rout now, which is good, or at least kind of partially rout. Okay, we, we, we lost kind of four in that initial engagement. That's not too bad. We need to deal with these archers though, otherwise they could become an issue. Because they'll just keep... Are they all running? There's no way we're going to catch up to all of them, is there? There's no way we're going to be able to catch up to any of them, really. 33 of the morality. I'm hoping we'll be able to catch up to them on the actual... Um, bat on the kind of overworld map, because I don't want to let 33 prisoners go if I can help it. But they, they're all in light gear. We're not going to be able to catch up to them. He managed to escape. Not really a surprise. I'm hoping we'll get a battle trophy or two or something similar. Uh, we get a war trophy. It's not bad. Could be better, but it's not bad. And we'll take all of this as well. Where are those prisoners? There they are, routed enemies. Can we catch up to them? We can. Be my prisoner or die. There we go. Take the bowmen, take the peasants. Not going to be worth a huge amount, but it'll be worth something. And we'll take their loot as well. A few measly pennies, but it will sell for something. So we'll head back to London, we can sell it there, because we can't sell on the main estate. Let's not run into whoever this chap is. If we can help it, please don't attack me. Cute. Elderman Bucker. That was close. I could have easily run into Elderman Bucker there. We would have been able to put up a good fight, but I don't think we would have been able to win. That's the main thing. Let's head back to London. We've got to cross the Thames. Trader. Okay, no one there is an immediate concern to us. Um, actually, we'll say that's a Siren Sister. There might be a prison broker there by now. Uh, so our prisoners, wonderful. Traveller or captain, I don't think we need to speak to, but we will. First of all, redeem our battle trophy. There we go. And then let's get all these done. Wonderful. Where? Actually, I need to just check where... We have left our ships. I think they're in. Okay, they're in Care Diff. That's fine. We can go. Could go get them actually. Let's 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 go get our ships just in case. It becomes a necessity. And then we can attack from there. Ooh, can we take you on? It's not a guarantee. You've got a lot of companions, bodyguards, and veterans. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to risk that, especially with Eldon Wigston coming in as well. Let's pull back for the time being. It's kind of boosting KD. If we can just take out one of them, the guy with ninety, we might be able to take out, but not the guy with one hundred twenty. You might be a bit more feasible for us to go after. Um, 34 spearmen, 10 warriors, 7 nobles. We could try to take you on, Edwin Elston. But I'm not entirely sure. There's a lot of other lords around. It's probably not the safest thing to do. Instead, we'll just head to Cardiff. We'll get some recruits, not really the ones we normally get, but that's okay. 
and head to the meet hall, see if there's anyone of interest, I don't think there will be. Sailor, ransom broker would be useful, but we don't actually have any prisoners. We will set sail from port. And I think we'll actually go around the bottom of the coast. Because I want to potentially do some quests for Frisia, Denmark, Norway to get them on side enough that I can set up businesses. Obviously that didn't go very well last time in, in Norway, but we could try to do this again properly. At least in Norway we can get a good amount of trade. Uh, we still have goodish morale, so we can get away with it if we're quick. So we'll head, in, we'll head to Frisia first. There's the king. God save the king. Possibly not God save the king, because I don't think they've... Do you have any tasks for me? Okay. You need a reaver camp taken care of. As long as we can find this reaver camp, we should be okay. I'm hoping there's going to be less space for them to not spawn in. Are you... Okay, you're... You, you were patrolling around the fighters camp there for a second. So it's got to be somewhere in this area. Aha! Found you. Let's go deal with these Frank... these um, thieves first. Because then we can get a bit of morale boost. Then we'll head on to Denmark and eventually on to Norway. Although Norway we really struggled to find the place. I don't know what went wrong there, but at least here we can be success at least here we will be successful. If we that's if we manage to successfully take out the camp. Which is not always a given, but we'll have to see. Come on lads up and Adam. Infantry can move forward, archers that spread out, just to give them space. Didn't maybe didn't need to be that much space, but that's okay. Infantry here, spearmen here. I don't know where our spearmen are. Spearmen? Come on. Come on, spearmen, you can do it. There we go. A lot of these guys have shields, so it's not a done deal by any means, but we should get some good loot out of this anyway, which I'm pretty chuffed by. And we do have a whole bunch of projectiles coming in as well, so that's good. Let's let everyone charge now. Deal with you. I thought these were just ruffians, but I clearly didn't read properly. <laughs> There's a lot of them here. We might actually have slightly overestimated what we can do here. As long as we can just kill as many of them as quickly as possible, that's going to be our best chance, I would guess. I hit a friendly troop, but on me. No, we should win this, that'll be okay. They're not too heavily armoured, that's the main thing. Do, do, do. Let us kill you as quickly as possible. You're running, don't you dare run away from me. I mean, you might run away from me, but I'd rather you didn't. Who just died of blood loss? Must be Don Chad. Or Don Kacht. Can't say his name properly. Come on. Let's see if we can do this. Come on. Come on. One. We've got one left. Oh, we missed. That's fine, we defeated the enemy. 22 robbers. Not ideal, but it's something. We will share the loot. Because that will still sell for a pretty penny in the Frisian capital. I can't remember what the Frisian capital is called, but well worth it. Nonetheless. There we go. Uh, Dorstadt. We'll trade the locals just so we've got a full... A lot of inventory space for when we go deal with this encampment. 
if we're successful. Which is not always a given, but hopefully it will be. We'll just make sure all our companions are at full strength and we're at full strength and we'll make sure we bring the Huskars with us as well. Huskars, the the hearses, all that kind of thing. So we'll actually move those guys to the very top. I'd much rather have them than the some of our companions. And off we go to the encampment. The fighters camp. It should be okay. But we just we we don't want to get this wrong. Wessex and Lethland have made peace. Gives us some right to rule and it means that we will have a lot more money coming in per week, which is excellent. Because a lot of our businesses were sequestrated at the beginning of the war. They will no longer be as such. There we go, making 2,627. We can pretty much just stay around here until the right time we can set up a business here in Dorstad. Straight away, we've got Bodo, Morgan, Agathinos, Don Chad, Bader, and we have one Huskar with us as well. Let's get on. And let's get this done. Hopefully we'll be okay. I don't, these aren't Vikings, I think they're just kind of everyday, everyday traders. We do need to give Agathinos... And not a sling because I don't know why he, we I don't know why we never just changed him out from a sling but he seems to just have a sling with him at the moment and he'd probably be much better with a natural throwing weapon than a sling but you know I might be wrong I need to have a think about that it'd be cool if like there was a permanent kill counter with each character you do get it per map but you don't get it in or well, per battle but you don't get it in the final in like you don't I don't think there's like a stat page for each of them in terms of their skill, their, there is for their skills, but not their kills. Oh, those guys look mildly tough, don't they? Okay, everyone follow me. Let's go as one. We'll go as one moderately cohesive unit, hopefully. Okay, these guys are not terrible, but they do look toughish. Vader is charging in slightly ambitiously. We do have the Huskar with us, so I'm hoping we'll help. There we go. Make sure no one spawns in behind us. I'm sure they will, but hopefully for the time being they won't. Okay, Don... One of our companions is down already. I mean, the Huskar should do some pretty good damage, so as long as we can keep him alive. That's important. Ow. But we need to keep ourselves alive as well. Because if we die, then nothing works, and we retreat, and then it never goes to plan. There we go, deal with you. Come on, Huskull. You're okay. You're okay, Huskull. You should... Well, hopefully you'll be okay. There we go. Got three weapon in your back. Who's still left? Currently three more enemies, but there may be more spawning in soon. Are you guys all coming up the hill? I guess you are. I don't know if that's all of them. More might yet more might yet spawn in. Hmm. At the moment, I'm trying to decide what series I'm going to do on YouTube because Valiant Hearts has just finished. I'm recording a the final stronghold stronghold episode tomorrow, and I've got a little bit of time in between the series because I'm now waiting for Hogwarts Legacy to come out which I think will be live streamed but just in case I'm trying to work out what to do in the meantime. I was thinking about Medieval 2 Total War but I'm already doing like a medieval-ish game within the British Isles um, so I thought it wouldn't be good to have another one. I think I might do a really stupid game. It's a it's like a simulation game. You, you make your own movie business. But it, it's really fun. I, I, it's it's called like the movie stunts and effects it's made by Lionsgate it's no longer like an active game in you, that you can buy but you can find it on down kind of downloaded online and it's just oh my goodness there's still 11 enemies I should really pay attention to what I'm doing we could actually not fulfill this quest which would be really frustrating because I really want to set up a business here in Dorstad it's the, pretty much the entire reason I came over here was to do this business run I mean, either way, we'll get a, we'll do a good trade run from Tunsberg in Norway, but 
this is going to be interesting. I love medieval content of all sorts, but <laughs> so do I, but I, I can't have like three medieval... I suppose I could have three medieval series at the same time. Um, but, you know, because this is focused on the British Isles, I was going to do the uh, medieval two Britannia campaign and play as Wales. Oh, that's it. Damn it. <laughs> I, I definitely think I would do a Total War game at some point. I just, I'm just not sure when. I mean, it would definitely be Rome or Medieval 2. That means we can't set up a business in Dorstad unless he gives us a new quest, which is annoying. But I, I, I love, like, Medieval and historical and general games I love. He, okay, well, we tried. Do you have any other tasks for me? He doesn't. Damn. Have some prisoners. <laughs> I don't have any real warriors. What are you talking about? I don't think there's any other way to get a positive relation with him apart from doing the quests and we failed the quests, so... Onwards we go, I guess. Wine... There's a lot of wine here. Also, this jewellery there. It's good to remember that. I don't know if we can sell this wine better elsewhere. If we sold it at Kiel... 630. Wow. Kiel... That sounds like an Irish town to me. Um, Kiel... It's up here in Moumain. Yeah, wine in Frisia. I, I knew about the tower in, in Norway. I just I didn't think I didn't think about the the wine in Frisia. So we'll, we'll pick up all the wine. We can head on to Denmark. Not pure, not really for the um, trade, but I want to try and get a business set up in all these places. But I've already bugged up my option with Dorstadt for the time being. We'll have to come back and do another quest to them in due course. On to Denmark to Reeb. And then we'll head up to Norway and get the tar trade, which is always a fun one. I often find that it's a little bit troublesome to try to click on those um, port towns when you're when you're trying to sail in. There we go. He doesn't really like us. Do you have any tasks for me? You need Clovis. That's fine. I'll happily give you Clovis. That's something we can do. Positive relations. Excellent. We've just spent all our money, though. Um, <laughs> when's our next payday? Uh, I can't remember how you check in this one. Quarters. Camp. That's fine. We will... Hmm. Do we go... I guess we go sell these things in Ireland. Now that we've got positive relations with Reeb. Because if I spend all my money on a business, I'm not going to be able to. I'm not going to be able to buy the tar unless it's incredibly cheap. Let's find the mayor and at least see what the businesses he's offering are. And that will tell us. Hello, Halvard. Um, first of all, do you have a job for me? There's a group of bandits. I'll do that just so we can get some money, hopefully. Um, what's going to be the most profitable one for us to do here? 674 for the for a brewery. That's not bad at all. If that's the best one, then we'll go for that. I think that might be the best one, to be honest. Yeah, let's just... Okay, well, let's just get that straight away, then. Cool. Business up in Reeb. That means we don't really need to come back to this part of the world anymore. There's the troublesome bandits. Let's just deal with them. If we can ever catch up to them, I don't know. Frisia and Albion are at war. That's fine. That doesn't particularly involve us for the time being. Hmm. Because I've, I've also got to finish my um, 112 operator series on YouTube as well. But it's not... <laughs> I only ever intended to do one part of it, and then it turned into a full-blown series, which isn't as good, because it's it's really it's really hard to edit because of all the sounds in that game, because <laughs> there's a lot of background noise and there's a lot of clicking. It, it, it's 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 really hard to kind of get a good edit on those videos, and I've got another seven parts or so to record before the game is over, so I might end up just doing it as one live stream at the very end. But that feels like a bit of a cop out, so. I'll finish off strong, finish off my stronghold series on YouTube. Hopefully, in the, within the next couple of days, and then 
try to work on the 112 operator and then decide what my next main series will be on YouTube. Alongside, of course, these live streams, which do get updated on YouTube as well. And then we're going to go to... We will go get the tar from Norway. And then we're going to go over to that Irish town and sell it for a profit. Even though we are not very well liked in Ireland. Okay, let's just charge because they're going to die pretty quickly. And they're going to start routing even quicker. There we go. Yeah, he's gonna, they're just going to start running almost instantaneously. So as much as we can, not as much as I would have liked. Are they running? They're running. It's fine, we defeated the enemy. That means the quest is done, hopefully. Share the loot. Wonderful. And then we'll head on to Tunsberg in Norway. Which I guess, is that Trondheim? Monday Trondheim? I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to see. Anyway, let's head back to Reeb and get our reward. I don't know how much it's going to be. Um, probably not that much because it wasn't a particularly tough group of bandits, but we'll have to see. It's nice being able to actually set up businesses here in this part of the world at the moment. Okay, stroll through the town. We're not ambushed, which is wonderful. We'll speak to Halvin. What's that his name? Halvin? Halvard? Halvard. Um, he, okay, 810. 810 is not bad. We will trade with the locals. We will not sell the wine back. Oh, we, actually, we could sell the wine here, to be honest. Look at that. <laughs> we could sell the wine here for... Okay, we, 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 we might just set it here then. It's not going to be that much more in. And then we, that way we don't need to go all the way to Ireland. <laughs> Wonderful. I don't, think, I don't think there's anything major here that we can buy and sell. I mean, the mead we might be able to, but it doesn't. The mead is already expensive here. We will just assess the prices, see if there's anything good here. We could sell mead at a slight profit in Jorvik, but that's not going to be worth it, I don't think. Um, he spent 2,400 on the wine. Let's see our profit. I mean, I'm not going to be able to sell it all to the same trader, but let's give it. A, let's just see what our tally would be. That is not a bad profit <laughs> for just going over to the next town, my word. It's just on the way anyway. I'm probably, I'm probably not even going to be able to sell it all here. But I'm happy to, I'm, I'm, I'll do my best to sell as much as I can here. That's well worth doing. Um, he can take one. We'll have to, we might have to sell some back on the British mainland, that's for sure. I'm happy to take that slight loss just so that he can actually pay us. And again here, it's only six dinar, or six pennies. We might even be able to sell it in, um... In Tunsberg, if they need wine there, but that's a bloody good profit for just <laughs> going from Frisia to Reeb and then back again. And what actually we can do, we'll, we'll sail back via Dorstadt and see if there's any more wine for us to take over to Ireland. I don't normally play as a trader, but it is like this is quite a profitable run. I was coming over this way anyway, so how much does the wine sell for here? The wine sells for a lot here as well. And we'll pick up all the tar, of course. And I'll pick up any kind of food they have. There we go. Man, wine sells... <laughs> wine in Frisia, man. That sells really for quite a lot. Um, not that we're going to be able to set up a business here yet, but... Let's see if we can find the king. Um, let's get ourselves because we failed to do the quest for him and then he didn't like us very much um, but there's no quest we can do for him for the time being but that's fine um, I might go to Odin's Hof and pick up some berserkers as I am a pagan I think I'm allowed to do so berserkers are always fun Thing, yeah, try to recruit a Berserker. There's a Berserker who can join you. He's welcome. There is also um, Odin's Cave. But I have to. I think I have to do Odin's Cave by myself. I'm just going to 
save. Because I can't remember if Odin's Cave is the game over or not if you lose. Yeah, I think Odin's Cave is a by yourself kind of job. I can't remember all the benefit for defeating all the people here in Odin's Cave is. And I really don't know why I can't bring some companions with me. Because there's clearly enough space. Uh, the mouth of a rock opens before you. We have done, we have attempted this before without success. But given that we don't come to Norway all too often, if we could try getting it done this time, that'd be wonderful. Because there's like 20, like 20 guys come out of this cave at least. As you advance, you find there's a light inside. It seems this place is not as deserted as you thought. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, we've got 12 throwing McJibbles. But they also have throwing McJibbles. And we've only got one shield. We'll need to pick up one of their shields when they have done with them. Let's start throwing some weapons of our own. Okay. Deal with you. If we can deal with you before you even get to us, that'd be good. There we go. We do have much better armor than when we were last here. Really? 49 damage and injury to the face. That's annoying. I don't think we're going to manage this now, but we'll give it a go. I really don't understand why we can't bring companions in here. That was a bad injury. Can we run? Let's get out of here. Okay, we need to go... We'll try that again in a second, but we'll need to go deal with that injury first. Otherwise that could become a permanent problem. 178 ruffians. Blimey. How are we doing in terms of morale? We might actually need to go kill those ruffians. Purely for the morale bonus. Uh, skirmishers? No. Commander options. Impassioned moon with a rousing speech. Good speech. Two morale. Wonderful. We're just going to charge here because they're just ruffians. There's a lot of them, but that's okay. And let's make sure the cavalry doesn't charge him by himself. That would be silly. But this isn't about profit. This is about... This fight is about just ensuring our morale is fine to travel across the open seas. There's a lot of them, but they're going to be pretty unarmoured, so I'm, I'm not too worried. <clears throat> and the, the thing is, they're just going to start running pretty much almost instantaneously. That's why I'm just going to get our guys to charge in. Because the sooner we can just start slaughtering them, the better, really. And like the loot from here is not going to be great. It'll be numerous, but I'd much rather just get the bonus morale by giving all the men, all the loot to my men instead. We're going to go two-handed for this. Try to get our two-handed. Another injury to our face. That's two injuries to our face now. <laughs> so we've got one, minus one strength and minus one charisma. So maybe we shouldn't have gone two-handed. But either way, we're going to need to get to our healers pretty quick to deal with those two two active wounds. That's annoying. Deal with you, wonderful. If it's just the one person left... Oh, it's tw oh there's 26 of them still coming in. Berserkers entered trance, hopefully that doesn't mean they're going to kill us, but they easily could do. Death to all ruffians. And we definitely need to get ourselves healed up because we have two major injuries to our face. Although, I like the idea of going battle scarred. Having one minus, minus one charisma and minus one Strength would be pretty bad, all things considered. Come on, Brunhild, you got this. Uh, 
Um, and the rest of them running, not just yet. No, okay, they are. Go to 41 ruffians, we'll sell them for however much money we can. We're going to leave all the loot for our men, just gives them some extra morale. Gets them above average, still not perfect. We'll move the berserker up as well. Um, okay, let's head to Tunsburg. He might even have a quest for us now, we'll have to see. Yes, I am wounded. We're going to need to find find the guy in Tunsberg, because if we don't find the guy in Tunsberg, we could be in a whole world of trouble. But we are making a profit. Excellent. Does the king have a quest for us now? No, he doesn't. On the way back, we'll pick up Clovis back from Denmark. We're going to wait here for some time, because then we can get to the traders quicker. As the night time, you spawn much closer to all the NPCs, I've noticed. So let's, let's do that. Stroll through the town. Please don't get ambushed. I can always tell the healers because they look like monks or so they're called godies in the other faith but the question is where is he is he going to be down down the hill he might be down the hill which is going to be annoying right down the hill we run in fact, let's wait till daytime and go now. This way we spawn here, which necessarily might be the, which actually might be the better option for finding the healer. We just need to keep an eye out for where he is. They are very distinctive, but we can't afford that these two wounds become permanent. That's for sure. Where is the monk looking chap? Small child, have you seen the monk? The healer? We could try to get back over to the British Isles where I know where some healers are, but they must, must be here somewhere. Because every major town I think is supposed to have one. Oh, I see him. He's over by that fireplace, I think. This is a interesting market. Are they making arrows? Or make? Oh no, they're making like wicker baskets, I think. Hello, physician. Please cure me of my multiple wounds. Thank you. You have serious injuries for two hundred fifty. That's fine. I've got two injuries. That's understandable. Anyone in the meat hall that I can sell all these prisoners to? No. But maybe there's some more... There's no more tar yet. We're going to have one more go at Odin's cave as we're here. In this part of the world. If we're not successful, we'll head back via Dorstad to get, pick up more wine. Wessex and Cornwall have made peace. Actually, let's, let's see if anything's changed there. Okay, I think Corn would have taken one of the. Corn would have taken Baden Ham as well. Or Baden. Corn was doing really well. <laughs> um, yeah, Wessex is, is, is fine, but they are struggling, definitely. Right, we'll give Odin's Cave one more go as we're in this part of the world. I think what we actually want to do, maybe, we're going to speak to Bodo. I'm just going to grab his shield temporarily. I'll give it back to him after this engagement, but just so we have a spare shield straight away. I think that's important. But I can never successfully do this place, that's the problem. Like we, we've increased our health considerably in terms of kind of protection with armor, but it's still not enough. <laughs> because I don't know why you can't bring companions with you when there's like twenty when you're taking like twenty or thirty troops here. 
you know, they're not low-level troops. They're not bandits. They're all like Vikings anyway. We've still got six javelins to work with. Okay. I guess maybe if we can draw them out one or two at a time, that would be the best option. But I, I, I have tried this multiple times without getting anywhere close to successful. But I'm hoping... There's, there's got to be a good reward for actually doing this quest because it's it's bloody tough this one. But look at that, there's blooming tons of them. God. Let's learn our lesson after last time. Let's try to destroy this chap's shield. Okay, let's go. I apologise if I'm not talking much through this segment, but this is going to require some concentration. You're dealt with. I'm not thrilled that you've got an axe, because that means our shield is going to go down pretty quickly. Okay, you're down. Oh, we got some reputation there. We just killed the Bandit King's main bodyguards. I, I couldn't read what that said in time. But we did something useful. I think we got some kind of profit. That's more than I've done before. Let's pick up a new shield. So I think we've now got three shields to work with. We definitely got some money or something there, but I just... I, I was so... <laughs> I was trying to not die that I, I didn't see what it said. Bandit King. We need to find where the bandit... So... Somewhere here is the Bandit King. Where is the Bandit King? And how many more troops are we going to have to face off against? To be fair, this is as far as, far as I've normally made it into this cave. It's like Skyrim, but not. We've killed the bodyguards. Hello there, ladies. If we kill the bodyguards, hopefully they won't spawn again. Hello, refugee. Are you okay here? I'm guessing not. We even speak to you? No, we can't. Hmm. The Bandit King, I imagine, is going to be heavily, heavily armoured. And he's going to have some more friends with him, for sure. I just don't want to bring, draw them all out at once, really. Where is the Bandit King? Oh, someone's woken up, I can tell. I saw movement, so I'm going to let them come to us. That looks like a Sea King and a Viking. That's an Irish skirmisher, that's not good. Let's get out of the way of them. Do with you as best we can. You're dead. I'm not thrilled by trying to deal with the Sea King. He's going to hurt. I don't think he's the Bandit King, but he's still going to hurt nonetheless. We kill the Captain. We gain some reputation. We get a bit more money. I really don't like that Irish Skirmisher. Skirmisher? Sh skirmisher. Because these guys can, are pretty good with their crossbows. But this is the furthest I've ever made it in this cave, so... Oh, and he's got an axe. That's annoying. No, 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 there we go. I'm going to switch to a uh, better shield, one which is a little bit less damaged. Oh, we did it, oh, thank God. The bandits and savers have been dealt with. We got the Bandit King's sword, that sounds fun. Let's, I'm gonna... So, did we deal with the Bandit King? I'm guessing it was maybe that... Maybe it was that um, sea captain we went against. I've tried that so many times. <laughs> Finally been successful. Hello, peasant woman. Let's bugger off. Bandit King sword. Is it actually better than what we've got? It is, and I can use it on horseback. Brilliant. Don, yeah, I'm going to give it to Don Chad. 
I don't care. Because you've just got a chip sword. I'm because you're 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 never going to be on horseback anyway. So we'll give you, we'll give you the two the potential one handed, two handed. We'll take the bandit king sword, and that means we can get a horse now. Thank God. Oh, we also need to give um, Bodo his shield back, because we took one of the shields, and we'll put our skirmishers, skirmish javelins back in. Oh my god, that was that was tense. Oh, I'm not going to lie, that was a real struggle. Oh, my word. Let's get everyone upgraded as best we can. That's going to cost us a bunch money but we do need just better frontline troops that's for sure there we go and if we can get a horse somewhere for ourselves I don't think there's anything else we can do at Odin's cave now no oh chuffed with that so we'll go back we will see if we can get some more tar from Tunsberg and we'll also see if we can get some more wine in um, wherever that place was. Dorstad. Trade the locals. There's more tar. Oh, this is getting better and better. Even for 129, that would be worth doing. And let's actually sail from port. We need to pick up our... We need to pick up Clovis from the Danish king. Because we don't want to leave him there, because otherwise we'll not... We have no real reason to go back to Denmark for a long time now. So let's go find the Danish king and get um, him back. Two of our wounds are cured, wonderful. You laid and Mead have made peace, that's fine. Uh, let's just land here. There's the king, can you give me Clovis back? Oh, you want Clovis back, thank you. Um, don't think I can recruit no, I can't recruit there just yet. I need one more positive relation, but I'm not going to push the quest with him. That's not a major issue. Um, if there, if you do have a, a happy widow here, I can go visit. I would appreciate it. You have a traveller. You do have a happy widow. Thank you. I want to raise the morale of my men. It's going to cost me money. Not ideal, but I think we need it just to get back over to the mainland of British Isles. But we are going via Dorstad. And our village has gone from rich to very rich. It gets better and better by the day. Over to Dorstad we go. Nope, let's sail. There we go. And hopefully we'll get payday before we actually arrive in Dorstad so we can pick up more wine. We might, actually, we might even be able to sell the... Um, we might even be able to sell the... We can sell the tar here, to be honest. We'll sell all the tar here. And we'll pick up the wine and sell it elsewhere. Not bad at all. I could, if I was being a bit more min-maxing, I could get a little bit more profit out elsewhere. That's fine. Do I want to get myself a horse? They're so expensive. My goodness, why? But they're so expensive. I've, I've never understood why they're so expensive. I mean, I know they're kind of not really as much in this mod in general, but there's so much. Good grief, man. Okay, well, what's inflation? Yeah, probably. Cost of living crisis. <laughs> Let's sail from port, let's get back to the mainland British Isles. We'll stop off in somewhere near Jorvik. Yeah, that'll be a good place to set sail from. Or set sail to, I should say. Do do do. Off we go. And we can sell all the wine. Should be one for let's get back on the mainland so they can stop moaning that we don't that we're on the open seas there we go in fact we can we'll go into bed bed and buff first making good profit now wonderful trade the locals let's sell as much of this wine as we can it's 
fine. Actually, we'll pick up some more food here. Vegetables, cheese, and dried meat. There we go. And we'll sell the rest of the wine where else we can. That's, that's a really good trade route, actually. We could do that more often. There we go. All in all, a good, a good run over there. Let's pop into Edoras. I can't remember if there's anything else we need to do here. There is something. I think there is something we can do in Hadrian's Wall. I think it requires twenty thousand pennies, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just go double check to make sure I'm right. Or I might be thinking of a different location. Actually, now that we've done Odin's Cave, we can probably do the other place as well. I'm thinking of another location. We can go do that cave in... Down here. The Roman Fort. We might actually be able to do that successfully now that we... Now that we've done Odin's Cave, we should be able to do that place as well. We've got a lot of prisoners to sell, but we can sell them down in Chippenham. Now that we're no longer at war with Wessex. You know, we're no longer at war with anyone, so we may as well make use of it. I will get myself a horse, though, I think. Uh, let's go this way. Because I want to head by Chippenham to sell these prisoners. Because I know there's always a... There's always Ethelmere here. It's not going to be worth a huge amount of money, but it's, worth, it's going to be worth something. I want to buy a, a horse which isn't going to cost me the world. 44 7, let's get it done. There we go. I'll probably still fight on foot for the most part, but at least then we can. We're a bit fast on the world map. We can ride down troops that are fleeing. And we've actually got a sword that we can use, so that's good. Although we probably still will fight on foot for a lot of the time. Let's head to the Roman Fort again. We are just going to save in case that's the game over event. Not that I mind game over events, but I'd still like to just be able to not have to reload like three hours worth of saves. Is this the wrong? No, this is the wrong fort. What am I thinking of? I'm thinking of I need the Strange Ruins, wherever that is. Where's the Strange Ruins? Strange Ruins there. That's the one I'm thinking of. We'll go get that done, hopefully. Because if we can do Odin's Cave, we should be able to do that one, I would hope. I don't know, but I would hope. It's an incredibly slow ferry station, but there we go. I suppose ferries are generally quite slow, all things considered. 9 to 5 Thieves, how are we doing in terms of morale? We should be okay to keep going for the time being. Head to the Strange Ruins. Are we all set up, ready to go? Kind of. Yes, Rome, the Roman ruins. This is all the one I'm thinking of. I think we only start with like three companions. At least we start with with a companion or two here. But this is another one where we get attacked quite heavily. I'm going to have to get used to this new sword. It doesn't have as much reach, but it is a bit quicker, I think. The Bandit King sword. Who do we have with us? We have... Um, Bodo and we have Clovis, both of whom are pretty good companions. Probably we could have brought along Don Chad, that might have been a bit better, but okay. We'll, we'll work with what we got. I can see that guy there in the. I was about to say in the window, it's not really a window. He's going to throw weapons at us. We'll throw what weapons we can at him. Bodo, stop getting in the way. Charge. Okay, that was you. There's, oh my god, there's a lot of them. Jesus. Oh, 
Oh, okay. <laughs> I had my shield up and everything, but clearly not. 104 damage in one hit, my word. Okay, maybe we leave the Stranger Ruins for another day. <laughs> oh, I'll head back to Chippenham just because we know where the um, healer is there. Uh, Denmark and Albert have made peace, that's fine. We need to go see Asgard, that's fine, we can do that when we have the time. Wait till night time and then we'll go stroll through the town and find the healer. Because we do not want to have a permanent injury to our face if we can help it. And the physician's right here. Excellent. There we go, 150 pennies. We'll pick up any more different food they have. We'll pick up the cheese, essentially. Just for a bit of variety in terms of our food. Uh, we're not at war with anyone, so I don't really know what to do. Um, I guess we can go visit our, our lady love up in the north of Scotland. And we can fight, kill any things we find along the way. How romantic, eh? Okay, we're making good profit per turn. That's wonderful. Uh, you are all friendlies. That's fine. There's actually a quest in Dun or a feast in Dunbeatty. So that means our lady love will be there. We can do a tournament, get some more money, hopefully. All in all, not a bad idea. Although Dunbeatty is a very long way away. And we don't have our ships with us, but it's fine, we'll pick them up next time. Um, we'll give the chap 300 pennies to grow our renown even more. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. We're at war with Alban now. This faction here. Let's go see if we can find ourselves a weak castle to prey on. The people of the defeated kingdom of Prekenyog have taken up their weapons and have taken a fief from the kingdom of Kanubia. Oh my goodness, there's so many resurgent factions. Well, where have they taken? They've taken Baden Ham, haven't they? Yeah, they've taken Baden. So you've got two. That's amazing. Both the resurgent factions, both uh, the Brekenyog and the Gristing are both here. <laughs> <laughs> they're right next to each other. They're not. They're not both going to survive. That's for sure. But I mean, Cornwall's actually a bit of a powerhouse now, so I think need to be a little bit concerned. We're going to go see if we can find a an easy castle to take on, because I would really love a property for myself, which isn't just a, a village. Two nine nine. That's doable with some help. I'd, I'd like the I like the town of Squeen, but I think that's probably thinking a bit too like is a bit too much probably. Um, you know, Olafsson wants a campaign. He was close to Dunbeatty. We're actually gonna go join that because then he might actually go and do a siege, and that's important. There he is. I'll speak to him. Come here. Come here. We did flee, so you're not thrilled, but we will join the campaign. My question is to you, what, actually we, what are we actually doing? I hope the lady doesn't wait too long. Needs must. War. I might be able to get some property for the, us and the lady to live in. Asgard's just going to have to wait, I think. Um, oh, oh, yeah, actually, this is the person I need to speak to. Can I visit Asgard properly? No, not, still not yet. Um, what is the realm doing? They're travelling to Orkney. That's annoying because I don't have my ships with me. Can I suggest a course of action? You should assault... I can't remember which one I need to think about. Hang on. I would quite like this... I quite like um, Duntara over here. But we'll just accompany him for the time being. See where he ends up. I don't know where we're going to siege, if anywhere. King's going after 150. We're going to need to save the king. 
That's annoying. I'd really rather not have to save the king, but we're going to have to, aren't we? Right, let's go save the king so he doesn't lose all his troops. I hope the king's grateful. Oh, it's so nice having a horse. <laughs> I've waited so long for a horse. <laughs> I, I think the aim for this war is to get a castle or a town or some more property somehow. Are we just doing like a big m m mash or mash of armies? I guess we are. Uh, we're going to hold this hill. If the king wants to charge in, that's his prerogative. But we're going to hold the hill. I'm going to be so terrible at horse combat because I haven't done it in so long. I think it's getting to that point now where we... Uh, probably important enough that we can use a horse some of the time. I don't know where the king's troops are. Well, I'm, I'm literally doing this to save the king. So I hope he's grateful and gets a positive relation with him. Which means that if we do take some property off these guys, they should hopefully like us a bit more. Everyone charge now. I'd like to do some more recruiting um, when we can, but these guys don't have any prisoners, I don't think. Let's deal with you. Thing is, we could make a good amount of money off this, or we may not. It's hard to tell. So, let's do you. It is nice having a horse, I, I, I admit. It's, it's been a long time since I've had a horse, but it's nice to have one now. And this, this um, kind of the King Bandit sword is not bad at all. It's going to take some getting used to after my much slower, longer sword. But it's not bad at all. There we go. Uh, I probably will fight on foot at some point in general anyway, but it is useful with having a ability to ride down prisoners as our own. Um, cavalrymen seem just generally a bit terrible at riding down prisoners, escaping. I didn't really want to do this fight, but I didn't want the king to die. That wouldn't wouldn't have been useful for anyone's purposes, really. Well done, uh, Pictish Horseman. You saved the day. Through and out my morale, please like me a bit more, given I just saved you. Thank you. Take all these prisoners. We will share the loot. As is normal. Although there's not really many places we can sell it because the, our nearest town is a is an active enemy town, but that's okay. Let's keep following the marshal. We might be going towards Moon Main as well, which is interesting. Where's the? Yes, I'm coming, Mr. Olaf. Where are you? Wessex and East Anglia have made peace. That's interesting. If you follow, if you go on the open seas, I can't follow you because I my ships are not here. So I don't know. I don't know what you expect me to do, but I'm not. I can't follow you on the open seas. If you're going over to Orkney, there's nothing I can do. Because they, they always have their ships with them, which is quite annoying, whereas I have to actually like manually land my ships and take off my ships. If they're going to go land in Orkney, there's nothing I can do. I'll tell you what, this place does not have many troops inside. If we waited till um, this other guy was out, we could try to take it for ourselves. 
Would you follow me into combat? Would you follow me? No, you wouldn't. You want a lord to Melbourne? I'm sure I can give it a go. Where are my ships? My ships are in... down here. We're going to go get our ships so we can do some recruiting up in our village. Let's maybe not go to the active war zone. I'm going to stack up on troops as if I can here. Oh, no. Forgot we were active at war. I can't. Actually, 14 men behind. I'm going to have to do it. I can't. I can't survive against that many troops, that's for sure. Not great. I shouldn't really I shouldn't really speed up in enemy territory. Um I demand a toll. Just give me money, that's fine. I want to save my troops for actual combat, but I'm happy to take all your money. Especially as there's no real downside from taking a toll, to be honest. But I want to go get my ships. Albert and Northumbria have made peace. Good to see. We'll stop off in Bedenburg. Trade with the locals. I'm going to need some more food for this campaign. Things we're only, we can only take so many people on our ships. That's the problem. We're just going to buy all the possible food that we can. Okay, and then we're gonna head down to we'll head down to Jorvik actually just briefly. Because I think we might be able to recruit from Jorvik anyway. No we can't, but we'll pick up some Ooh, the they have a lot of dry meat. We'll take that. We will not take the beef, however. I don't know if there's a prison broker here, but if there was, that'd be ideal. There's a happy widow. That's fine. Let's go to our ships and we're gonna head over to our village and recruit as best we can. Because if we can take out that city for ourselves, that'd be wonderful. Because I think if we actually took a... If we personally took a castle or a city, we would actually be given it by our liege. But we need to actually have the troops to be able to do that. That's that's my issue. So we're just going to go around on our ships to our village. We can, even, actually, we can stop off in Orkney. In the Orkney Islands. I'd love to visit the Orkney Islands, by the way. They are gorgeous, go gorgeous islands. Uh, Orkney Bay can recruit some freedmen in. These freedmen are obviously not going to do that much for us, but it's something. Recruit in Orkney as well. Seven Lords Freeholders. This is going to be a very costly campaign. But we are still making a profit generally per week, so that's not a bad thing. I think I can take... Yeah, I can take 211 troops at the moment on when I'm on the sea, but I can take more. Wow, everyone's going to war with Alban. Okay, we need to get in there, otherwise all the good territory is going to be taken away from us. So we just need to get overwhelming amounts of numbers. I <laughs> think that's the thing. Let's land here. Biani Biai, we can get 16 Norse Freeholders from. Again, not hugely excellent soldiers, but that's fine. Um... I don't think this person, no, this person doesn't like us enough that we can actually recruit from here. Oh no, you are cooperative. Oh no, but we just can't recruit many on your land. Do you have any tasks to me? No. We, we were going to be able to recruit in your land until you got word that we had to run away. Oh well. Go back to our village. Um, speak to the village elder. Do you have any tasks to me that I can do which don't require like actual work? I will happily go get you a slave. More freeholders, thank you. I just need troops. And we now have a horse, so things are a bit quicker in terms of getting the slave. Um, we just need to find the fire. There it is. I mean, Norse freeholders are not going to be that strong. But if the, if we can like double, if we can go, I think we can have about three hundred troops from one land. So if we can just like double our size and go in against the kingdom of Alban, we might be okay to get ourselves a castle. Um, slave, you're gonna have to come back with me. I don't particularly care why. I'm sorry. 
it's a time of war. We don't have, we don't have the time to ask these questions. Go to village center. Again, we're on a horse, so things are a little bit quicker now. We'll try to speak to Asgard if we stop by Dunbeatty, but at the moment it's not really a priority for us. Here you go. Um, recruit volunteers, some more freeholders. Again, you know, they're only going to do so much. But it's going to be something, that's for sure. We have 80 Norse warrior archers. I think if we actually manage to take the siege, if we actually manage to take this place, we'll be pretty damn good. It's just a question of can we take it? Um, let's get back on our ships. Oh, we don't have room for one of our men. Let's get rid of one of these freeholders. That's fine. We can pick the rest of the troops up on the mainland. We'll sail over to here. And we're going to recruit in, like Dunba in the Dunbaiti area. How many men can we hold? We can hold 276. So we're going to go to Dunbaiti. As that's, I think, the only places we can recruit from on the mainland. At least in this part of the world. Let's ask for potential recruits. 10 Norse freeholders, thank you. We will join the competition because we are going to have a whole issue with money going forward. So if we can get another 4,000, that would serve a lot of purposes for us. I'm, I'm really determined to try and get a castle in this war. Or a town, or some more property. Like an actual castle, or, or town, or something which is more than just, you know, a village. But let's... Do the tournament, do as much recruitment as we can, visit our lady friend and definitely not have sex because the nun's there and I don't think she would she would approve or the the the, the serving maid or whatever it is. But I don't think she would approve so we'll have to stay here. Two teams of one fighter, where are you coming from? Over there. Please don't have an axe or a sword. He has an axe. Great. We just need to keep him at range if we can. He has the speed and the... Like that. Oh, my word. Okay. Uh, that was round three. We're in round four now. Okay, do what we can here. Now, you need to die. Thank you very much, sir. Where is the opponent now? Oh, we actually have some throwing weapons, so we can probably destroy their shield if we find out where they're coming from. It's not always the clearest as to where they are actually coming from to attack us. Where are you? Where is he? <laughs> I genuinely don't know where... Oh, there he is. If you can destroy your shield, that'd be good. Especially if you have an axe. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that works. Two things one fighter. This is the final round, so I really hope we get to do this successfully. He's got a spear, I think. This is going to be another 4,000 for our coffers when we desperately need it, so that's a good thing. Oh, an expensive horse! That's annoying, because I just bought a horse. Okay. It's better. When we eventually level up, we'll put, some, we'll put another point into riding so we can actually use the expensive horse. Or we could just sell the horse for profit. <laughs> We'll visit the lady friend just so we get that quest out of the way so she doesn't get sad. Um, I'm going to dedicate my success in the tournament. I could give it to my companion. Um, that's a good point, actually. I'll probably give it to one of my companions. Um, it is good to hear that your intentions are honourable. However, I'm not ready to commit yet. Okay, well, we're getting there slowly. 
Who is worthy of the actual horse? Good to Brunhild, I suppose. Maybe Clovis? Clovis, do you want the horse? There you go, Clovis, you can have the horse. Clovis has the horse for the time being, I'll take the horse when it becomes a priority. Um, I want as many actual soldiers as possible. We've, we have so many Norse warrior archers, I don't think we need more. Uh, Barbati's being raided, let's see if we can scare them off. If only just so we can recruit from there. 57... 224, I want to recruit more, that's the problem. Our village has been raided, I expected that to happen at some point. We're still just turning a profit, only just though. I'm just going to have a quick look at any of the other villages and towns, see if there's any closer targets. Wessex is at war with Alban as well. What about this place here? Is this worth taking? 309. Just trying to see if there's anywhere easier to take on than... 232. Um, can we take you on? Horsemen? Spearmen? You're quite, you've got a lot of veteran skirmishers and those are the crossbowmen. I'm not thrilled about that. Definitely not thrilled about that at all. I'm not going to try for screen. That just feels like a terrible idea. We could try for Kelrigan 1, but it's so out of the way. That's my only worry. Uh, 285. Yeah, these guys are no joke. Yeah, if I go siege this place by myself, I'm definitely going to get attacked again. 157. I mean, surely that's going to be the place I take on. That's a town, that's a port. That's got to be the place I take out for myself, but I need more troops, that's for certain. <gasps> they took Edinburgh off north. <gasps> they took Edinburgh, damn. They took Edinburgh off Northumbria, that's not good. Your fame popularity of um, attracted two Ulf in? Absolutely. That's just two more um, berserkers, wonderful. We are below average in terms of morale, so we need to go kill someone. Probably someone who actually has some prisoners for me to recruit. What about you? 177 ruffians, let's do it. You have 19 young warriors. That will also give us some... Um, can we impassion our members rising speech? Some morale, wonderful. Skirmishers, do nothing. We are going to charge the enemy. Let's just hold here. We'll let them come to us and we'll use our kind of archers to our advantage. We have a lot of archers. We'll probably need to move them down the roster because we need to focus probably more on melee initially, I think. Oh, and then we can switch into the archers for the later parts of the siege. But I want to be at my, my, my absolute cap of recruits before I even try. I'm just going to kill these ruffians. I'll give all the loot to my men. I want the young warriors that are in, that they have prisoner. And I want to be able to do gain as much morale as possible because I think actually, I can't remember, but Viking Conquest I think has proper sieges. So we probably need to do that. There's a lot of them. Let's not push too far ahead because we can still get majorly injured here and that's not good. The Norse Royal Archers is doing good work, wonderful. Uh, let's charge now because otherwise they're all going to rout. Hmm. I think we've got to go for that town on the sea. It's, it'll be a little bit out of the way. Like, we'll be quite isolated there. I'm hoping that Lethand will actually come and protect us, we'll have to see. But I feel like we've got to try If there's only 150 men in there. If I can get myself up to the 287 max party size, I would hope that would be enough to, to win on a, like a 2v1, two, 2 to 1 scale. I would hope that would be enough. It may not be, but I would at least be able to try. So 
So we can do some horse archery or horse horse throwing, I should say. Our horse is close to death. <laughs> We've only lost one soldier in this engagement so far, so that's not bad. Let's deal with you if we can. There we go. I'm actually going to get off my horse. I'd rather the horse doesn't die. If we can help it. We've got a lot of ruffians here to attack by ourselves, but we should be okay. This bandit sword should just cleave through the herd. There we go, deal with you, deal with you, deal with you. I'm trying to think of a like a fairly short game that I can stream, like with Portal. Because that only took three or four parts. I'm trying to think of another game like that that I could stream kind of alternately with Viking Conquest. I'll have to have a think. Because um, I'll be streaming Hogwarts Legacy when that comes out in... Like, I can start streaming that on the 7th of February. Um, that'll be the new major series alongside this one. But I need something to fill that gap. I'm just trying to think of what... Like a, like a short... A short but good game, like Portal was. There we go. Hundred. There's a lot of ruffians killed. Seven morale. We're going to give. We'll take the young warriors, and we'll take the ruffians. We will leave all the loot for our men because it's not going to be that good loot. They're only ruffians. Don't think we can catch those guys up. Let's head back up to Dunbeatty. See if we can recruit some more troops there. I'm determined to try at least attempt this siege, this stream. But I just want as many troops as I can first. Potential recruits, 12 North Freeholders, thank you. But I'm determined to... Hang on. Can I speak to your Olaf? Would he come with me? Because if he would come with me, I could go for a... somewhere a bit safer. Let's give it a go. We may not be successful. Um, yo, oh, Olaf. Um, would you follow me? No, you wouldn't. I could try to prompt you to go attack a attack a fortress, but you would then take. You'd probably claim it for yourself. That's my issue. Uh, recruit volunteers, seven Norse freedmen. Wonderful. Young warriors are fine. They're not going to be excellent, but they'll be okay. Uh, Norse Freeholders. Uh, I want some Norse Companions. Those guys tend to be quite so high up the uh, roster. Um, we'll move these guys down. Can move the Elite Spearman up and the Veteran Skirmisher up. How many men are we on now? Two six three. How many can we have? Two seven seven. We're below average on morale. That's not good. Um, we need to probably go to our. We'll go to Edoras, our refuge, and try up our morale. I I will come see you, but it's not my priority, my lady. I'm sorry. Hmm. This is going to be a close run thing if we can manage this. I would love to manage it. That's annoying. Please leave me alone. Actually, if they're all... Oh, morale. Damn. Not not the time for our morale to, morale to be low. A, a duel to the death? Who's challenging me? Oh, you hurt. Or oh, you... Okay, this guy's armor is pretty good. We definitely need to go sort on morale issues. We have such a high party size, that's why there's such an issue. 
No more riots, okay? We're about to go to siege. We're about to go to active war. Not the time for this, okay? I know our morale is low. I'm trying to fix that. I'm literally going to Edoras and Bedenba as quickly as I possibly can. But I cannot go into an active war zone and try to find their prostitutes. I need to find the prostitutes in a safe area, if that's okay. Wamba. My men deserve a feast. Uh, you see for me my men. One morale. Uh, da -da -da -da. Um, call your men, give them money. There we go. 18 morale. There we go, it's more like it. Now, shut up about being unhappy, okay? Still on the average. Where's where's the um where's the meat all? Where's the happy widow? There she is. Raise spirits of my men. Fif Fifteen morale. Now please. I know this is a tough, tough campaign. I know that, but really, most of you will die in the siege anyway. So you know, just count your blessings. You're at least alive at the moment. We're going to commit to this siege, even if it kills us. Whoa. I just need to make sure there's no one else in the town at the time. We're going to save. We are playing Honest Man, however, so I'm just saving in case there's like a bug or something, but I'm not going to... Prestige to town. Oh, I forgot there's actual like proper mechanics for this. Um, build mantles. Oh, dear. I can't actually remember what I need to do for this. <laughs> Your siege camp. Fortified camp we can do. Planning siege, we want to order construction of sanitation, build your defences. Oh good, that's not what I intended to do. Um, I Because I, I actually don't know what I'm doing with this blooming siege, I will reload that just because I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm going to surrender, that's fine. That's the only thing I will do is reload that because I'm still trying to experience how this blooming siege works. Um, I just want to, I just want to build um, siege equipment. Is it that hard? What do I do? Build mantlets. Is that what I'm looking for? Uh, no. Be able to come in and clear the, clear the ground for assault. That's the one I want. Come in and building the ladders. Let's wait till tomorrow. Uh, a farmer comes to you and says that one of your men has... Oh, that's not very nice. Who lives in a village near your siege camp. The farmer desires a word guild of 100 pennies. I will absolutely pay the word guild. That's fine. It gets us positive reputation. Poor hygiene in the, your camp has led to dysentery. Men start dying all around you. Great. This could be prevented with sanitation. Um, spend money. Okay, we lost two soldiers there. There's no blockade. Men can enter and exit properly as well. I can't wait for 11 days to actually siege this place out. Um, how's the assault ladders coming on? I'm not going to have long before they come in. That's the problem. Oh, come on. Oh, one of the research vassals or one of the research kingdoms died. When foraging a group of enemy enemies encountered a group of our men. Uh, we lost 10, they lost 12. So not actually that bad. In some ways it's a positive. Order the vanguard to prepare for the assault. Your vanguard advances. Your men have met the enemy. It is now your turn. 
We lost seven. They lost eight. Oh, time is of the essence, and you feel the arrival of support force for the place. Absolutely, assaulting women heavy, heavy casualties, but you've made up your mind. Um, it's summer and hot, maybe too hot, but at the moment you do not feel anything. As always, before battle, you set aside time for a few. Um, I can't read that because the <laughs> Twitch displays in the way. For a few mo memories of the past, then you close your mind and ready it for battle, preparing for even the worst case, death. Your men. I've finished building the ladders. Charge, gentlemen! Charge! We have the renown, but if I get knocked out, we have to start the whole quest. We have to start the whole siege again. So let's not do that. I'm determined to take this castle, even if it kills me. Um, archers are going to hold here. Even though we do have a lot of them, but that way they might be able to do some useful things, actually firing inside. Our infantry and everyone else is just going to push forward. I'm keen not to get too involved, at least initially. Just because I'm, I'm scared to die, because if I do die, then we have to do the whole siege again, and that's really not worthwhile doing. Because... Unlike Pendor, where the siege continues, if you die here, you die. How are we doing? Oh, we are taking some knocks, that's for sure. Okay, I think we might. We'll probably just need to charge our Norse War Archers in as well. See if we can get this guy in the window. We're having like a one on one duel. There we go, you're dealt with. Your headshot, wonderful. Oh, we're taking so many casualties from this. We've got to get involved, I think. We've got to get. We've got to try to create a breach. Where's my sword? If we can create a breach somewhere, that would be good. But we need to get involved. We can't afford to just sit on the sidelines, that's for sure. Man, this guy is blocking all my hits. No! No! We had to try. Are we going to have to rebuild all the um, equipment now? Okay, we're building ladders. Let's try build build checkpoints. You need to have two and more than two hundred fifty men for the job. We don't anymore. Or order construction. It will take. Ah, uh, that's annoying. We might need to abandon the siege. We'll have to see. Yeah, morale is low. We're wounded. We'll we'll do one more assault, and if that fails, then I don't know what we can do. Um, how long does it take to build mantlets? No. They have eighty-four men. They have eighty-four men. We should be able to do this. Come on, we got this. Let's go. We've got a battle advantage of five. We're actually going to stay back. We're going to let our archers push forward, which we still have, I think, quite a few of. And we'll let our archers try do the damage first. I like I like the fact it's actual proper siege warfare. Like it's not just you build ladders and go in. It's actually a proper siege mechanics. But I just I'm aware I'm very much in enemy territory here. And I, re I really want my own land. <laughs> I've been waiting for so long. But because the Kingdom of Lathan isn't very strong. <laughs> and it's not like Pandora, is it? If you, if you live, if you get knocked out, 
really the siege should continue like even yes I'm the I'm the commander but you wouldn't think that the entire you wouldn't think that the entire um siege would end just because your commander gets knocked down I should have started with this last time actually just let the archers do all the work <laughs> we will lose some of course but so far we're doing some damage at least setting more damage than we were doing before at least it's a bit more even this time either way after this siege whether it be a positive outcome or negative outcome I will then leave the stream there um, right infantry and spearmen push up archers can push forward a little bit I am just going to stay at the back I think that's the only thing I can do really But there's only 47 of them. We should, we literally have 100 times more men than... Not 100 times more, but we have 100 more men than them. We, I really hope we would be able to manage this. Infantry push forward as well. You have throwing weapons. It's important you use them. Archers push forward if you can. I don't know if you've used all your arrows. That's the only thing. So the majority might have... Oh no, you still have arrows. I'm just skirmishing as much as we can at the moment. Sod it. Charge, gentlemen. We've done I think we I think we've done what we can with skirmishing. Um I'm just gonna stay out here. I'm gonna hide. They should they will bottleneck us a bit, but I'm hoping we should just have the numbers really to be able to deal with them. There is a skirmish in that window. We'll see if we can take him out. If I would be so happy if we can take the siege, even if we then lose it. I mean, I'd rather not lose it. I'd hope that the other lords would come to my aid, but they probably won't, to be honest. And this is an interesting place to try to defend, because I don't know how well it will go. Okay, there's only 15 troops left. I think we can go in. I just need to not be stupid. Which, for me, is a real struggle as long as you can bottle I think as long as you can bottleneck enough troops here defense will be fine but you just need to have enough troops to work with seven people left thank goodness I put my shield up because that crossbow was coming right for my head let's at least pretend we did something in the assault there we go we got a kill <laughs> Our morale is going to be absolutely tanked as soon as we get in. But let's hope they go do something else. We've taken the castle. In fact, we've taken the city. It's a city, I think. Whether we're going to be able to hold on to it, who knows. We're going to take every single troop. I don't care, even if they're terrible. They can just go sit in the... They can just go sit in the actual encampment. That's not a problem. I, I am going to share the loot. I'm still not a bastard. I will share the loot. I'll take whatever I can. I'm hoping I can actually buy some food and morale bonuses inside this town. Ooh, interesting. The battle is almost over. Your troops are easy, are eager to start plundering the town. It's all but deserted for its squalor. You may decide to forbid your troops from harming the town if you want to conquer it for your faction. Your troops may lose morale. You can allow some plunder and keep the town. You may just want to fill your purse a bit and leave the plundered place for the enemy. Finally, you could also decide to devastate the place completely in order to gain as much loot as possible, enslave the inhabitants and make it worthless for its owner. Oh, I could conquer and plunder. I think I'm going to conquer and plunder. We, we lose reputation, of course, and Brunhild is going to be bloody fuming, but that's okay. I'm going to get off my horse, because I think trying to do this on a horse is going to be tough. Oh, there's a little bit of frame drops. I think that's all the smoke particles. I think these are mostly just peasants coming in after us. 
so we should be okay. But I also need money, so if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be in a long if I'm gonna be in a long war with trying to hold on to this town, I need money. And I think probably we're not gonna get much help from our faction because they're pretty weak. So yes, we are not we're not gonna be I don't think they're gonna be that thrilled with us in this town. But we can make amends over time. You know, I don't particularly need to butcher all these troops with all these people, but if they're gonna look, I just want your plunder, but if you're gonna attack then that's your fault. How many men are still left to kill? Still quite a few internally in the streets, that's for sure. Definitely feels like a little bit of a massacre. But I guess this is how it was. Yeah, it wasn't all just, oh yeah, let's just move in, there's no problems at all. I hope the plundering was worth it. But as you can see, there's a lot of smoke coming out from this town. Okay, well there's a good amount of food, if nothing else. I'll take that purely just so we can uh, feed our troops, and I'll take that stuff as well. Um, I I request that this be given to me. I, I put in a lot of work here. The populace is against me, would you believe? Because I, you know, ran, ran sacked the entire place. Please, Olaf, stay with me here. Um, yes, I am aware, Brunhild, I'm, I do apologise. Oh, low morale again. Oh, it's the Norse Archer, how about that? Look, we just won, we just won a siege. You're just gonna have to be patient, okay? We'll deal, I promise I'll deal with the morale as soon as I'm given this town, but I cannot do, I cannot leave this town undefended. So just, gentlemen, wait, be patient, please. It's all I ask of you is to be patient. I can't even wait past the time there. Come on, please just give me this town so then I can start working on defending it. Because if they come in, we're going to be in such issues. I've got 182 troops. Can I... Can I recruit prisoners? Army morale is too low. Gotcha. Well, he's coming in to... He's coming in to take that place back, isn't he? Let's get everyone upgraded. We're going to blooming well need them. Because we're going to we're gonna have to fight this guy in the open field. Because we can't... For some reason we can't actually go in and sit in the town. Which is ridiculous. I'm gonna put these people in just so there's actually so they actually have to conduct a siege. Yeah, if you could run away from me, that'd be appreciated. Just traveling to Edinburgh, that's fine. Head on your way. Head on your way to Edinburgh. I don't mind you going to Edinburgh, you just cannot stay here. I need to be given this town quickly so I can actually do something with it, please. Because I know our morale is absolutely tanked, but I cannot afford to leave this place with two farmers and a peasant woman inside. You need to, you need to, <laughs> you need to allocate the town to someone, even if it's not me. Legan and Mumain have made peace. Come on, you need to allocate this to someone. Yo, Olaf. Hello. Who do you think should receive this? Thank you. I support myself. May I suggest a course of action? Can you just go to Dunbreton, please? Um, what are you? What are you and your men actually doing? You're scouting for the enemy around. Okay, that's fine. 
that's fine. You 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 can do that. Uh, can I also visit your daughter? No, not yet. <laughs> okay, the king's here as well. Wonderful. I'll follow. I'll go say hello to the marshal so that he likes us. Uh, where's the king? The king was just here. Okay. How come the king can go sit inside this town, but I can't? Please just give me the town. Please just give me the town. You're traveling to Edinburgh. I'd really rather you just go away. As long as you don't siege the town, you're welcome to go through the port. You know, really, you shouldn't be allowed to do so. Okay, we're going to have to go help the king here. But he can't because he's on the open seas, so the king's going to die. <sighs> That's annoying. I don't understand how these guys can come and land on, on in this port when it's actively a, a war zone. We'll support you, Orkin. Um, they're going to siege this place in a second, that's for sure. Come on, King, you need to let me inside to protect this place. I might be able to protect against these three vassals, but you've got to let me inside. If I can't get inside, there's no point. So if you could run away, that'd be good. Can I help protect the king here? Probably not. How long does it take you to decide who who goes inside this castle, please? I beg of you, just make a decision. Because we're going to have to run away now because they're going to follow us. And then they're going to siege the town, I would reckon. No, we might need to just just send these prisoners. To be honest, let's go around the corner, come back round. Could probably sell them in the quarry. To be honest, would you believe it's under siege? Don't you bloody dare! Okay, the king is inside. You just need to decide on someone to go inside this town. Is it? Do you reckon it's because I raided it and now it? Now I can't get inside. Please make a decision. I don't. Even if you don't give it to me, but you've got to make a decision. We're just going to stay here until it's decided. But our, okay, our morale is okay. Our morale is okay. <laughs> and we're making a profit each week. But you need to make a decision as to who gets this town. Ailich has declared war. Um, I'm going to try to sell these prisoners at this quarry. Then I'm not going to get much money for them, but I'm going to at least get something, hopefully. I'll only get 15 for them, but I think it'll still be worth something. And it gives me speed, mobility, and a little bit of money. Because they're just slowing me down at the moment. I want, I want my slaves to work here. Can I sell you slaves? I'll sell all my prisoners to you. Fair 15 fee, I'll take it. It's money and I'm no longer weighed down by them. I think that's important. You 
Okay, you need to make a decision about this town. <laughs> Like, <laughs> we're so out of place here by ourselves. That's the problem. <gasps> Thank you. I will accept the honour. I'm getting inside. Is that all I can do? Surely this is... Is that... I guess they, I guess I've got to wait for it to... <laughs> Everyone's here now. I guess it's still... I shouldn't have raided it, that's the problem. Has been besieged, absolutely. That's to be expected. Why aren't, why aren't I allowed to sit in my own town? I've only got one day to... I'm going to have to take the loss on that statistic, I think. They're welcome. A group of six women, that's fine. They can become cab followers, they'll at least be able to do something. Let me inside my own town. Like, I would actually be able to defend from a siege, but if I can't get inside my own town, what's the point? Run away. Run away. There's a battle or two going on over here. Help you all looking if we can. 42 against 276. This is going to be a battle of the ages. We need to defeat Alban as best we can here. If we lose here, it's pretty much all over. We've invested a lot of time, troops, money into this fight. I'm, I really don't want to lose this fight, all, all things considered. I think they're going to have the better quality troops, so that's the problem, because like, look at these guys. Oh, I don't know. Well, these guys actually look like they know what they're doing. Let's see if we can just disrupt their line as best we can. Okay, let's not take all the hits if we can help it. That'd be good. Ow. Let's get our troops a bit closer. That's fine. Oh, this is going to be a big old siege just, or a big old fight this one. We should have about another 200 troops over there, but it's still not going to be an easy one. But in order to hopefully protect our town, I now know that we shouldn't raid it next time. Because it just means we... I, I guess that's why we can't get inside. Because I, I would actually be able to... I think I would be able to hold a siege if I could get my troops inside. But that's only if I can actually fight the battle myself. If it's just automatic, it's not going to work. Okay, charge. We need to everyone charge. Our horses down. Everyone charge and get involved. If they're charging, we need to charge with them. Okay, you're dealt with. If we can deal with these kind of lighter troops, these skirmishers on the side, that'd be good. Oh no, <laughs> we did, but we didn't deal with all of them. Now I can't even tell how the I can't even tell how the battle's going now because I can't look at the um <laughs> can't look at the tracker. That's helpful that their troops don't seem to be getting involved and not all my troops are taking the brunt of the damage. <clears throat> Do you think we've got this in the bag or not? I, I genuinely don't know. Either way, we should, if we win, we should get some good war trophies out of this. Oh, 
dearie me. Either way, after this battle, that will be the end of the stream. And we will see how things carry on next time. Could really do with their troops getting involved. Because pretty much all my troops are dead now. If we pull back, would that be positive? Would that be negative? Okay, there's a bunch more of our troops coming in. I can't even see the counter. I literally don't know how how well we're doing. I'm just kind of having to judge it. No, we should we should have this in the bag. We have about 150 more troops than them. But as we've seen before, numbers isn't always a guarantee of victory. I really hope we've got this in the bag, otherwise we're going to be in the whole world of issues going forward. New enemies have arrived. Ooh. I don't know. It's the Norse versus the Scottish. Some more cavalry even coming in. There's a whole bunch of archers, but they're kind of hanging back. Um, this is this is tense because I, I genuinely don't know how this battle is going. But I don't want to tab out because that could make things worse. Although if we do win, our morale should improve just purely by <laughs> purely by having won such a big battle. I think I think we're winning. I think we're getting there. Although then we might have to do another round of this fight as well. I'm not sure. I shouldn't have raised the town. That was I shouldn't have raided the town. That was the issue. I think it's good. It's good to know for future. They don't like us very much there, um, so we're going to have to spend a lot of time repairing reputations. <laughs> but we can do that with trophies, with booze, tournaments, etc. We defeated the enemy. How many troops did we lose there? We lost twenty-four, sixty-one wounded. We've killed 270 of them. You turn up just in time, Guthlaf. He manages to escape. We get three herdmen, or three Norse companion. I will take all of their prisoners. Oh, this is definitely reaching boiling point. Uh, we're going to share the loot. I, I definitely want my fair share. We get a war trophy. Is that all we get, really? I guess there was a lot of us in that fight, like a lot of Fennies in that fight as well. But still, I was hoping for like an epic trophy or something similar. Can I get inside my own town yet? <gasps> Thank God. Thank God. I can actually get inside my own town. Where is the nearest ransom broker? I want to sell all my prisoners. Where is the nearest Happy Widow? I want to raise the morale of my men. How much is it for my men to have? 3,300. Absolutely not. This is the Lord's Hall. This is now my hall. Hello, King. What should we call it? Who should we receive this fief? I'm going to support you as well. I don't need another fief. Kingdom Bard. 
Okay. Do I have like a... I don't think I have a actual... I don't think I have an actual kind of steward of the castle, at least not yet. Um, manage the garrison. Trigger the locals and sell all this stuff. I'm hoping we'll get a lot of money from this to the next payday. That's, we'll, we'll, we'll wait to the next payday before we end the um, <laughs> before we end the stream. Oh, there's not so much money. Let's take that back. Uh, let's redeem our battle trophy, our war trophy. It's gonna improve our relations slightly. But it's gonna take a long time for them to trust us again, understandably. And next time, don't raid it because it just takes too long to get inside. <laughs> See the ships. I'm just intrigued. There's a couple of good sized ships here. The Svalbardi. So all through the town, is it really like decrepit? Oh, it does look quite <laughs> decrepit. Hello, Weaponsmith. Greetings, your lordship. If I speak to some random citizen, are you gonna be like, oh, where is me? Hey, eventually we'll make this town something great. We're gonna wait here till yeah. I I probably could have got that injury solved, but sadly, focusing on other things. I just want to see how much we get on our next payday. Remain is declared war against the Kingdom of Alban as well, and it's no longer actively under siege, which is good. We all need to get some more troops and put them in. That's for sure. Oh no, it is under siege, okay. Let's get some more British land recruits. We're going to visit the meat hall, we're going to actually... Um, we're going to try get the... So we need the relation positive, so let's buy everyone some ale. There we go, thousand pennies. Relationship improves a little bit. Do I not have a like, steward or something? I guess not. Is that something we can save? Yes, it is. Okay, we are going to stop the stream there because there's a lot of things happening <laughs> in a lot of different places. Yarl Orkin is here. Yarl Olaf is here. We have taken a little bit of land off Alban, who are getting pretty strong. So they're fighting a lot of people, but I would like to hold on to this part of the town if I can. However... I do need to stop there, so we will continue this next time. We'll help out your Olaf. If I can find out where my ships are, I can't actually remember where they are. Okay, they're over there. We're not going to get out onto the open seas, but we'll park our ships in here. We'll get a bunch more recruits inside. We'll see how things go. But thank you so much for watching, anyone who joined on Twitch and anyone watching on YouTube at a later date. Very much appreciated, as always. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.